What's up, friends? Jason Langsdorf here with another episode of Four Web Devs, One App Idea. In this series, we bring together four web devs and we give them all an app prompt. Then we all go off and build our own version of it. Today's prompt is build an unconventional habit tracker. My friends Michael Chan, Demetrius Clark, and True Narlo were here to play. And let's just say this is going to be the most ridiculous episode I've uploaded to YouTube so far. <laughs> <laughs> Clerk sponsored this video. Huge thanks to them. Make sure you go send them some love and let them know you want to see more of these. And if you've got an idea for someone who should definitely be a dev in this series, or if you've got a great app prompt idea, make sure you reply to the pinned comment on this video and let me know what it is. All right, all right, all right. That's enough for me. I got to show you this first app. Check it out. This is Habit Hound. I can't think of a name and I found a cute little dog icon. So the idea is you can add a habit here. So let's say I want to brush my teeth. So I put brush my teeth and then there's a frequency drop down. So brush my teeth, you do daily. Obviously you could change these. You could even add like a cool little like input thing. So you can set like frequencies that are really custom and then it'll add this. And so it'll show the text of the habit that you added and then a countdown on the right side. So let's say I want to uh, wink at the camera. It's a habit I want to make, you know, minutely. Add that. So as you can see, the habits turn yellow and then red the closer they are to the time that you need to do them. So this is when you really need to finish it, you know? And I tried to figure out like some sort of alert, like a system alert on your computer for when a task is gone or like you need to do it so that'll alert you to do it. But then I got caught in like an infinite loop and then I just... <laughs> gave up on figuring that out. But the other thing that you can do is when you click on a task, you can reset the timer. So this is basically like, oh, I finished it. Let me reset it. And then it'll start again. But yeah, this is Habit Hound. Assume that it's edgy because it's dark mode. <laughs> He'll beat you up. Don't mess with the Habit Hound. Let's take a look at the code. So I didn't really know how to be edgy. <laughs> <laughs> I, put, I, used, I said habit hound and I used this really cute little icon. Minutely is my favorite. It's like my favorite new word. I've used it a handful of times since I played with this. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. I should have <laughs> added secondly too. I did not think about it. Secondly would be a great name for a cron job sass, I think. I would agree with that. I think that's great. And also I'm I'm noticing this is this is like a single file <laughs> app. Oh God, the code, yeah. I actually love this. One of the things that I think we can be guilty of, I know I'm really guilty of, is like severely overthinking whenever I have to build something like, oh, I'll agree to this thing and now I got to stand up this new this new repo and I got to have a separate site for it and I got to do all this stuff. And you were like, no, I'm just going to make this like a subfolder on my site and it's a single yeah. single file. Like that, I actually mm -hmm. really dig that. I've That's just never I've heard doing. of yeah. Jason severely overthinking that one. Um, <laughs> that's, just like, uh, that's just blowing my mind right now. I use basically a next app and then every like page is like a project that I do and it's really easy for me because it has all my like uh, NPM packages that I use. So I don't have to like set up tail again or I don't set up frame or motion again. Yeah. I am such a huge fan of this idea of like this is just on your site. You just yeah. added a page, <laughs> built the app, one one file, you know exactly where to go when you hit this thing again. It's awesome. I'm super impressed by this because you scoped this so well where it just, it doesn't do a lot, but it does the things that it does very well and very straightforwardly. I can see exactly what's going on in this file. I think one of the things I like about this a lot, React is React. You're gonna have to learn Reacty things, but like a ton of this is just JavaScript. Pull back all of the magic sometimes and realize that like all of these apps at their core are just some JavaScript. Unironically, I love this because this is exactly the way that I code and like it, it just makes me so happy to see that it's, it's not just me. Like when you got to get things done, it doesn't matter. Like you just do it. It's it's fine. It's perfectly readable. Like you don't have to have it all like universally one thing or the other. This is great. It, I would actually argue that it would be a lot less readable if this was like crammed yes. into here. I've tried to beat up on Tailwind code to make it what I want so many times and it it beats me every time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love nested ternaries. It's my it's my vibe. Oh, oh, are we going See, there? now? You are just oh. now you just nose dive this comment it. section. I'm very excited to moderate this comment section. <laughs> <laughs> When you get a vasectomy, they give you a little bit of homework. You need to clear out the pipes, and it takes about 20 times before you can get a testable sample. Now, I'm not a young kid anymore, and I needed a way to kind of track the number of evacuations, we'll call them, that 
uh, happened over that period. So I knew when I could provide a testable sample. I'm a big fan of like making like, you know, stupid apps that will kind of like just do a job for myself. This is a way to track those and just be like, okay. And then I thought it'd be fun to just be like, okay, you know, was it like solo? Was it with a partner? Like, how are we doing this? And it, like, and then, <laughs> what is this one? I mean, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a. Not else. I don't know. I don't know. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me what happened. Oh. This is obviously this is pretty edgy, <laughs> and also it's the sort of thing that like if this is a step that you've taken, yeah. this is a useful thing to have. And so being able to just kind of come in here and say like I don't know what happened there, um, and you can say like <laughs> All right, we're getting close. Here we go. We're almost there, right? Like All right, okay. It's the end of the week. All right, let's just get this over with, right? Um, and <laughs> hey, that was and then fun. It like gives you a next step, right? This is a great example of an app that does exactly one thing for a very specific use case, and it does it very well. Did so you cute, the saying. emojis. The emojis are really. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate Sex, that. I love it with the cherry. Maybe that looks great on mobile too, doesn't it? That's actually a good jumping off point into the code because I'm so happy already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I judge myself hard in commits. Let's see. So it's using those like, you know, clerk uh, routes, which was super easy to set up. I think it took me like, I don't know, like less than five minutes to get everything in there. It was like copy pasta, like super awesome. One of the things that I found super most useful was that DVH value. I've mm, never used yeah. that before. And I thought that was super cool that I think it's like dynamic view height and view dynamic height. view width. Is that what they're yeah. for? Yeah. Because a lot of times you end up with like those just tiny little like, you know, 20 pixel scroll issues, which are just mm -hmm. so annoying on uh, mobile. And so I spent a lot of time on kind of figuring this out and I really liked it. So yeah, the, I think between that and then the nested um, element inside, this is kind of like my stand, it's become kind of my go-to like one-two punch on um, making a like, oh, I have this like stupid idea, but I want it to look fine on mobile and desktop. And uh, it's it's worked out great. I love it. So I did actually spend a lot of time primarily on the layout and then this kind of like Aria thing. Um, and so I figured it'd probably be useful to talk about this. But basically, this is all just like a single page app. And so like when you have events, a lot of these things like don't do anything, right? So you click a thing and it's like doesn't announce anything. And so what I've done is I've, I have this hook where now we can kind of politely and politely just kind of like waits if there's like some kind of queue, it'll just stack it on the queue and it'll read it eventually. So then if you look on the event handler for add next evacuation, it'll change the state, but then also it will announce kind of where you're at in the thing. So like, it'll say like, hey, evacuation two of 20 was tracked as solo, just to like announce those things. There's a DOM node at the bottom. And this is kind of like where the like kind of complexity of all this comes in is that when you're doing this kind of stuff, you have to have some type of like DOM node that knows how to like accept and like, you know, you can like actively insert elements into this thing. And so typically in an app, I would have like an assertive and a polite one. And then mm. you can just kind of post messages to either one of those DOM nodes and they will get read. This is um, a library that I end up using a lot. I, I wrote it, so like it's not good, but you yeah. can look at the code and, you know, copy and paste the parts that you want and make a better one for yourself. Pretty fun. Those are probably the things that I, uh, I, I enjoyed doing the most. This is one of those things that if you make it easy for someone to do these sorts of things, it, it feels like it's much more likely to actually happen because I think every dev that I've ever talked to, they there are very few who have just been uninterested. Mm -hmm. But what I've seen happen a lot is that people will say, I want to do the accessibility stuff, but I don't have time. And like, I'm getting pushed toward deadlines and I don't really know how to do this, so I'll do it later. And it keeps going down to the bottom of the backlog and yeah. stays as this like forever to do. It's interesting too, because I think that it's easy for us to think like, you look at the visual state and you're like, oh, it's done. And then you forget that like a lot of people interact with the web without getting <laughs> visual feedback. <laughs> It's just so funny hearing you talk about accessibility in the context of like an ad next evacuation hook. Like, <laughs> I was like, she's this is so she's funny. She's saying what I'm thinking. And like, I love yeah, the twist it, ignores. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no hero. I ain't no hero. <laughs> True's a shamer, and I appreciate I'm that. Not, I'm not, dude. I'm not sure. I appreciate that. that. <laughs> I'm in. I'll start shaming me. Too. I don't work for it. Why did you pair us up on a on an? I don't know. Thing? I have so many what regrets about this thinking? particular grouping. <laughs> Just absolute degenerates, and I love it. <laughs> Thank you.
So I know what you're thinking. Who let this guy be a part of the fun? Well, I want you to take all of your concerns and your gripes up with Jason Langsdorf. I decided to make a poop wipe tracker for the dude wipes brand. <laughs> you know, I digging into this, I definitely went overboard and used every cool thing that I haven't gotten to build with a ton. So you're going to see some party kit, some clerk, some next JS, some planet scale. I mean, you name it. I, I made a bit of a soup. We'll dig into some of the cool bits. Pooping alone, that's fine. But what if, you know, <laughs> don't show my broken styles, damn it. But what if everybody no, no, I'm poops with you, I'm together? with you, I'm with you, I'm here. But what if everybody poops together? There's two of whoa, us now. Whoa, whoa. Did but you put we, fucking party kit into what this? Are you saying? Of course I put some party kit into this, baby. <laughs> everybody Ooh. needs a poop emoji style cursor. What do you mean? I love that you made this multiplayer because that's, of all the things in the world that I want to be multiplayer, it is poop related it's things. Knowing that we're pooping together. Yeah. And, and you know what I thought of? I thought of the childhood book, right? Everybody poops. Little bento box, you know? And I had an entry. Yeah. How many wives did you use? Oh, man, I ate Indian food last night. Yeah, five, five is, like, conservative, dude. Good for you. So, like, so like the cool thing is, like, okay, we're, we're counting your pieces. Sure about how many wipes I used now. Because every, every dude wipe pack comes with 30, 30 wipes in it, so you're down to 22. Oh. We're back to 30. We got a full pack. Nice. You see how we have the plus and the minus? Minus the pack out to zero. Uh, and then I'm okay. sending you to buy some more packs, baby. Ooh, we're letting you know. Wow. Is this Go and get your Amazon pack. Wow. Affiliate link from your boy. No, I'm just kidding. No affiliate link. <laughs> is attached to that at all. I just want to that shit. So yeah, literally super simple app of habit tracking your poop wipe usage. You know, when I said build a build a habit tracker for an edgy app, I like there was no way this isn't how this was going to end. So let's peek at this. Holy crap, dude. How much oh did you God. do? <laughs> I told Dumb. you I spent like this two weeks a, on this thing. I this wanted was to really a four hour you app. Sh <laughs> you shush your mouth, you shush your mouth, and you understand that this was my time to actually code for the first time in forever, okay? And maybe I went overboard. Maybe I did. This but don't judge me where you're, you're looking at the sign in sign up that just allows you with clerk to basically build your own custom sign up pages so like all that's happening in there is i'm importing in the sign in component and applying some like basic page based styling on it mm -hmm. this would allow you to like add different objects to the screen lay it out mm -hmm. however you want so this is just me showing that like you can eject from uh, from having that hosted application page. So I'm using uh, Clerk and Planet Scale, And so I wanted to, every time a user gets created, establish a table specifically designated to them with a with a, a default wipe count so that the UI wouldn't break whenever you go into it. So like you get to use a little, um, little webhook value action here. Actually, this is pretty cool because look, we're here's our database, yep. right? And then we export this DB and then in the create user here, just DB just dot insert in. All right, this is slick. This is yep. really slick. Thanks. Another cool thing is like the little modal. Uh, basically we have, you'll see, we have the new entry modal, which just allows you to like create the, the entry. But we also, the reason we created it, it's like the new next 14 parallel routes. It allows you to set up a fallback. So if somebody were to press refresh, it's going to look like shit, but press refresh. It just brings <laughs> you to a page dedicated to the form itself. So you, okay. you, so you don't lose your input value for the form. It brings you back to like a parallel route. Again, this is me just being like, I'm coding. Um, so <laughs> you can head back. I've always loved the Old Spice style weird ads, the poopery and squatty potty and stuff like that. They're just bizarre in the best possible way. And I, I kind of like getting off the wall like that. The first thing that I did was I, I just wanted to make like a little mascot thing. I wanted the app to be as ridiculous as I could possibly make it. I looked at a bunch of different like cartoon drawings of angry faces and stuff to kind of inspire this. <laughs> like this was the the persona. I was planning on putting this into the app. This was sort of what I was imagining was like the worst possible version of Clippy. I've been repeatedly going to the dentist and I've been flossing, but apparently I haven't been doing it right. And so they progressively get meaner and meaner every time I go back to the dentist <laughs> and tell me... Real. 
<laughs> tell me like your teeth are going to fall out of your head. You're going to get bullies. a bacterial infection and die if you don't floss properly. I'm like, but I'm flossing. What am I doing wrong? Um, so anyways, I, I wanted to take that energy and put it into a little mascot and that's Tufums. So my bedtime, let's set it at midnight. Okay, I put in this like it. review mode thing so that you could make it happen a little faster, right? So it tells you 12 hours. So I don't know what it just did. So it says time to floss. And then what should happen is that, yeah, now it starts giving you like insults. <laughs> and so the way this should work is like in by default, the intervals are a little bit longer, like every 15 minutes or so. But for review mode, it it uh, it gets a little I swear more. To God, if you don't stop. <laughs> I'm gonna come over there and do it myself. <laughs> Jason. This is probably a tooth from Philly. Um, is, first of all, there would have been no more messages. You would have just gotten punched right in your teeth. Right at the second <laughs> oh, you're not flossing? Um, <laughs> but so this is kind of the general idea. And then once you floss a note, you're, you're done. Your, your teeth I are healthy. I love your designs. I love the, the letters. I love it. I love, I hate you. I hate you that I love it. I have no style. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else this, is this is the old, this button has no style. But look at this button. Look how much style this button has. Like, I did animated just hover states. On the Jason style is the master app. of redirecting. He's like, that button, who cares? This one. Yeah, you already flossed. You don't need a sweet button for that. <laughs> Under the hood, I got uh, convex going for for the database. And, and this just kind of runs like what your bedtime is. I got time zones. I got stuff like that. And then the, the cool part is that this is running off of like these internal actions. So it's actually like recursive calling this to update what state it's in based on what's going on. So like if you're done flossing, then it like runs the update and sets the scheduler to run at tomorrow at the normal time. And then it has it has send the reminder. Is it and just like polling? Like, it's sort of polling. So so the way that this works is you're telling it to run at a certain time. So mm. this one is like the tomorrow is you get it's the current bedtime out, out of the database and then you yeah. add a day. And so that's like tomorrow at uh, right now noon is when it would run. And then uh, really if you cool. are not done, like if you haven't flossed, then it'll update the reminders to whatever the next reminder count is. And so the reminder count here is like, you know, run the mutation of the the update for the user. And uh, these are the different reminders. So it says like, run it with this particular reminder. And if you're out of time, then send this final insult before like canceling. Can you scroll back down for me? Yes, I can. All the way down to where you were before. Fine. Enjoy gumming your meals, you <laughs> jerk. That one was a deep... You felt that one when you wrote that one. So I appreciate that one. I I, like you were talking and you were saying words and things that definitely mattered. I read that and my my brain just said, I'm not worried about anything else he's saying. I'm talking about gumming my meals. And that's, that's where I was left for the past five that, minutes. That's future Jason coming for current Jason. 100 yes. Have you used a water floss? That's what I use, and they still oh, yell at me. Interesting. Okay. It is you just unbelievable. Heard him with this so much. You just I, it sounds like a skill issue. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, right. And then I also thought it would be really funny if you didn't put in a first name to, to call you mf -er. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, And otherwise, you know. as hell, dude. I, I mean, this is sort of where I've been leaning in my general approach toward everything is like, can I just do this in a way that it's like, if I ported this to another framework or something, I'm not having to rewrite the whole thing. Like you just kind of have to figure out where the the specifics of the uh, the logic are, like with the React hooks or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'd have to port all this, but like just about everything else that I wrote would kind of drop in. That's that leftover Netlify juice. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk more about Netlify juice, say more. <laughs> It's, it's the portability. The cross-platform Kool-Aid is is really that's cross what Netlify. Cross-platform Kool-Aid, <laughs> phenomenal commercial idea. Don't know why you didn't do it. <laughs> I also just realized that to get this text to work, I had to stick it into an SVG. Which this this was maybe a hack, um, but I'm happy. I'm happy it worked. Oh, interesting. Oh, I know why I did that. I did that because you can't put a text stroke that's positioned to the outside in uh, in HTML text. And that was really important to make this legible because if you if you center that stroke, this looks like absolute garbage. You know, actually, I feel like outside stroke might be a good name for that third button of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. 
Don't forget to put your ideas for prompts into the comments below. And if you want to see more episodes like these, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Another huge thanks to Clerk for making this episode possible. And, you know, make sure to watch this one next to keep the fun rolling. Until next time, friends. Happy building.